Hey everybody, it's Nick from the Bass Hook Up, and today I'm here on the water and I just want to bring you guys a, a little reminder about a technique that usually I forget about and I just bring out about one month out of the year and it's good for that month of the year. Um, it's the trick worm and specifically a methylate trick worm in pre-spawn, early, early spring when the water temp's 55 to 60 degrees, you got to bring this thing out. So that's what today's episode is going to be on is the trick worm, how to use it, what I throw it on and uh, I throw it out in the delta, throw it in all the lakes. So something that's used all around the country, but not a ton, I don't think, here on the west coast. So something you guys want to try. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment to the video because the first of every month we do a video and we have a giveaway in that video and we give away half of our YouTube income. So make sure you get in that. And you guys have been doing awesome. I mean, subscribing, we've been getting subscribers, we've been getting more views and a lot of it's due to the Delta videos and trust me, there's more Delta videos to come. I'm gonna get out there as soon as I can. We were just on spring break in Disney World and while I was there, I was looking in every little pond, there's bass everywhere. So I wish I had a rod, but I'll definitely be getting out to the Delta here soon. But today's video is the trick worm. So stick along and I hope you guys enjoy. Got one. There we go. Got one on the Mathiale trick worm. Just sucked it in. Seen him, seen him out there chase it from the shoreline. Threw back at him. And he came up behind it and just slurped that whole worm. And this is just crystal clear water. As you guys can see, super flat calm. Nice fish. Seeing a lot of these out here, just healthy. Stuck them really well using a just a offset worm hook right there. Super fat, pretty little fish. Get them back on that methylate trick worm. You wouldn't think that this bright, bright color would get bit in this crystal clear water, but this time of year. This little bait right here has caught a lot of fish in tournaments um, nationwide, and I've caught a whole bunch of them out in the delta. Just an awesome little little bait. Sometimes when it's when it's dead calm and the fish start moving up, like pre-spawn in the delta, sometimes this works really, really good. Um, and you have to throw it early. It seems like the window for the bite on the flyleaf trick worm is when the water temps between 55. And 59, it seems like when it gets a little warmer than that, they stop biting it. So right now is the time in most places, um, especially like in the Delta. But on this little lake right here, I am seeing a whole bunch of fish now. I was just out here. I didn't film. I was just out here maybe mm, a week ago. Not even a week. I was here three days ago, and we were me and my dad, and we were looking up shallow just to check it out and saw... A few here and there, um, not very many. I think we saw two locked on beds. Today, I've only gone down the bank maybe 300 yards and I've seen like 20 fish on bed. So I may have missed my window for this bite right here and I might have to go do a little bit of sight fishing because there are so many of them up on beds, it's amazing. But I'm gonna go down the shoreline right here and just show you guys this. You know, I'm throwing it on a, on a Dobbins Fury 702. Pretty light rod. I want to be able to impart action to that worm. And in the Delta, I'll throw a braid on a, I will throw on spinning rod, but I'll throw a braid to like a 12 pound leader. Um, throwing like a four or five aught, just offset shank worm hook, not a EWG. I like just the offset. Um, I think you get a lot more hookups. And then this is a methylate trick worm, a zoom trick worm. So I'll leave links to everything you need down below, but uh, this technique right now, it works really, really well. Again, I mean, it's something something I, I forget about sometimes, um, and then I have to just 
think back, go back in my memory bank and just remember like, oh man, the methylate trick worm. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta give that a shot because it just works so good. Sometimes that's all they'll eat, especially when it's really, really calm like this right here. And I did miss another bite on it earlier. Oh, one right there looking at it. Let's throw back up on them. There's a couple up there actually. There are so many fish up shallow right now, it's amazing. And I could tell you guys this, this weekend, when that weather gets nasty, everywhere should just turn on just for this weekend. I have a baseball tournament to go to, so unfortunately I'm not gonna be fishing it. I might come out here uh, Sunday afternoon when we get back from that, but this place will just light up. So well, uh, the Delta, I mean, there's a new gen tournament on Saturday. I'd love to fish it. I would absolutely love to fish it because the Delta is going to, going to turn on this weekend for sure. All those fish that weren't biting all week because it's nice weather, they're gonna bite. They're gonna bite this weekend. I expect some big weights in that new gen team tournament out there. So keep that in mind. You guys wanna catch some good fish, maybe the fish of a lifetime, get out and fish wherever's closest to you or your favorite place to go. Get out there this Saturday when we have this storm coming through um, right right after all this nice weather these fish kind of are moving up setting up and when it's so calm and nice I mean they're kind of sunning and they're not into the feeding mode but when we get that cloud cover the rain the wind these fish up here shallow they're not going to move out and they're just going to turn on so you're going to be able to catch them and it's gonna be an awesome bite. So, get out there this weekend. Like I said, I will be at a, a baseball tournament for my son, so I think we're supposed to get back home around noonish on Sunday, maybe. Um, if, if we win, we could play a bunch of games Sunday all the way to the evening. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Oh man. I see there's fish out here. This is just a big flat. So there's fish on bed. There's a good one way out here. I don't know what it's doing actually. It's kind of swimming in circles, acting weird. But uh, yeah, this water is so, so clear. Let's give this thing a toss way out here. I mean, maybe there's gotta be some fish still like kind of in the pre-spawn mode. A lot of the big ones that were out here earlier um, or just a few days ago, they were, they were cruising around out way out here offshore. There's a flat and then there's a weed bed that grows up out here, maybe 50 yards offshore. And they were just cruising around on top of that weed bed. And I could get them to follow like an S waiver. And, um, that's about all I could get them to follow. But there was a ton of them out there and that's where all the big ones were out there. So, uh, and I could, I mean, Rest assured, every cast I'm making, fish are seeing my bait. I know that for sure, because there are just so many swimming around. This video might be pretty short, and I uh, just wanted to bring your guys' attention that this bait right here is something that you gotta have on. I feel like during this time of year, just have it on your deck. Uh, something that a lot of people are not throwing as well, especially especially like in the delta they're not throwing it so have this thing on i got there's two fish right here they're just they're, again they're just following it these fish are not um it's not committing to much right now but trust me this thing works it does work see i caught that fish on it back there um and sometimes it's a, just an awesome delta bait and you know the fish love orange they love red this methylate color kind of glows in the water so even in that dirty delta water they could see it from a long ways away what i'm going to do is i'm going to go keep kind of going down this bank uh, keeping my eye out and then what i'll do is i'll turn around up here and i'll go out deep not deep but just further offshore and see if i can get some of those fish that are sitting out or we're sitting out on that weed bed. They might all be up here now though, because I am seeing so, so many. It's
Got one. Got one. I'm sure. Bet you it's a better one too. Yep. Good one. There we go. Oh, nice one. There we go. There still are some big ones just cruising out here. Eight pound test. Oh, that's a fatty. Hooked him so good too. And that's not even a thin wire hook. It really doesn't take much pressure to get a sharp hook through a fish. I mean, look at that. Hooked them right through the roof of the mouth. That's a good fish. And he was way out there. Eight pound test, little flimsy rod. There you go. Nice one. That's fatty. Cool, cool, cool. Another one on the trick worm. That didn't take long. I, I mean, it's only been like five minutes since I caught that last one. And you know what? I'm keeping my hook kind of exposed so it doesn't have to go all the way through. Just barely, the tip's just barely sticking out. Check my line, it's good. All right, perfect. I didn't see that fish on the fish finder or nothing, just fan casting out here. And I actually looked out there to see my bait on the forward facing just to see if I could see it. And I saw a big old blob and I went to fill and that it was that fish had my bait. So <laughs> he must've been kind of in the weeds and came up there and ate it. up there in that shade nice one did I mention you could skip these things really easy <laughs> nice fish right through right through the roof of the mouth again right there right in the snout again I'm kind of put this in reverse we've got a whole bunch of good trees coming up here with shade another really nice fish thank you sir all right the five lead trick worm up in that shade just skipping it i need to take this i bite this tip off and it's kind of beat up but that's the hook i'm using you can see it's super stout easily you could throw this on a bait caster the delta with a 10 or 12 pound test cast it a long ways i like the stout hook too because it gets the worm to sink a little faster and stay down a little bit better so that's why i'm using it and then again i have that hook exposed a little bit there so let's go back up here and see if we could pull another one Got one. Oh, nice one too. Man, these fish are all nice. They're up in the toolies this time. Up in the toolies. Fish are healthy. Sitting up there in the in these toolies right here. It's really shallow up there. But Nice little guy, two pounder. Boop. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for the trick worm video. Just wanted to bring it back up. It's a technique that, you know, every spring I'll take it out of the bag and tie it on just for about a month out of the year. And uh, sometimes it's the trick to getting bites. It's the trick to getting bigger bites. And it's just something to good to have, you know, in your, in your bag of tricks. <laughs> your bag of tricks gotta have the trick worm but yeah it is a good bait especially about this time of year this month into april a little bit and then it dies off so 
hope you guys enjoyed the video try out the trick for him next time you guys are out and we'll see you next time thanks for watching